and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we are gonna talk about fat loss and fat loss is a really popular topic, a really controversial topic. So I have learned because when I did a video on how I lost weight and got lean, that video did very well, very well. So people are obviously interested in losing weight and getting in shape and fat loss. And so I decided just to come onto YouTube and talk to you about fat loss and what I know and what the scientists say because there are so many crazy fad diet trends out on the internet, on the TVs, in the supermarkets. And I personally think we should stop paying attention to the crazy fads and start paying attention to science because science speaks the truth. Science knows. Science doesn't lie. And I personally think that big crazy marketing companies and companies with lots of money and lots of products that they want to sell lie. So we're gonna listen to science today and <laughs> listen to what science has to say about fat loss and Today I am the voice of science. <laughs> I'm not a fat loss expert guys, I have lost fat. I know about losing fat. I am in an industry with lots of very, very knowledgeable people who have shared their knowledge with me and I am sharing it with you. So let's talk about fat loss and how to lose fat. Now, most people think if you need to lose fat, you have to run. This is not true because when I personally lost fat, I did not run. I will not run. I cannot run. So running is not the only way to lose fat. Yes, running does help you lose fat and this is because you are exercising, thus you are burning more calories, so you're gonna lose fat. But running is not the magical answer. Running is amazing for your cardiovascular health, it's great for your mental health, it's a sport. People are so talented and hardworking and they, they run marathons and races, but running is not the answer to fat loss. It can help you lose fat, but don't think that you have to run on a treadmill and hate your life if you want to lose fat. So the key to fat loss is raising your resting metabolic rate. So basically, you wanna get your body moving, you wanna get your heart racing, your blood pumping, and you can do this in so many ways. You can do HIIT, you can do spinning, you can do weight training, and all of these things are gonna raise your resting metabolic rate, and you're gonna be burning fat. But guys, it's not just exercise that's gonna help you lose fat, and I feel like I talk about this on my channel so much. It's not just about what you do in the gym, it's what you do at home, it's what you eat, it's what you cook. Diet has such a huge part in your physique and losing fat and building muscle. And I think exercise and diet go hand in hand, but I cannot stress how important diet is because when I personally wasn't exercising due to surgery, I was able to stay relatively lean and still feel really healthy and comfortable and not pile on loads of fat and this was through just my diet alone. So don't think that going to the gym and lifting huge heavy weights or running for hours on end is the only way to lose fat because it's not. Diet is, diet is gonna be your best friend and no, I don't mean a crazy fad diet and I don't mean depriving yourself, I just mean diet as a whole, aka the foods that we consume on the daily, all the time, because we love food. Okay guys, so the four things you need for fat loss are one, diet, two, strength training, three, cardiovascular interval training, and four, cardiovascular steady state training. I don't mean you have to do all of them, but all of these things are gonna lead to fat loss. It really comes down to this. You've probably heard it before, you've read it on Instagram, but calories in versus calories out. And to be honest, this was a pretty new term to me in the past like year or so. I'd never really thought about food or exercise in this way, but as soon as I started thinking and applying that to my lifestyle. My body changed, my diet changed, my mindset changed. Everything just became so much easier. But what do people mean when they say calories in versus calories out? So the calories in are the calories you consume and the calories out are the calories that your body will burn naturally, that your body burns through exercise. Basically, it's your daily expenditure of calories. 
And just whilst we're on the topic of calories, carbohydrates have four calories per one gram of carbohydrates. Protein has four calories per one gram of protein and fat has nine calories per one gram of fat. So there is more calories per gram, but this does not mean that fats are bad. If you cut fats out of your diet, it will not lead to weight loss because all you're essentially doing is cutting calories. And you could cut calories from carbohydrates, you could cut calories from protein, and all of these would lead to fat loss. So don't think fats, taking fats away, will take your fat away. It, it doesn't work like that. And we need fats in our diet because they are good for our skin and for our hormones and for our body. So yeah. Calories in versus calories out. If you are in a calorie surplus, if you are eating more calories, consuming more calories and your body is burning, you are gonna be in a calorie surplus. And what this will lead to is gains, so muscle gains and fat gains. The next thing is a calorie deficit. So when you are burning more than you are eating, so you can either do this by eating less than what your, natu your body naturally burns or you can do more exercise so your body is burning more and then you're in a calorie deficit. And then last is calorie maintenance and that is when you are burning the same as what you are consuming. So when you hear the term bulking, people are, what they're essentially doing is they're eating more calories than their body is naturally burning. So your body uses all that food up for energy and there's still calories left over so your body is gonna store them as fat or it's gonna use that to help build your muscles. And so this is when people say they are bulking because they're actually trying to put on muscle mass. So they're giving their body more food than what it actually needs. And with building muscle mass, you're gonna put on a little bit of fat, but it's not the end of the world because we know we can burn the fat and we burn the fat by bringing ourselves into a calorie deficit, which brings me onto the topic of weight loss. I feel like there's so much misleading information when it comes to fat loss and calorie deficits and I forever thought that if you didn't eat enough food your body would gain weight when actually that's impossible because if I'm eating less food my body isn't going to gain more weight. So like that's bizarre to me and I don't understand why I thought that but I think it's from tabloids and newspapers but at the end of the day if you eat less calories than your body is burning through exercise and from being alive, what's gonna happen is your body's gonna use all that food that you've eaten um, for energy. Because you've not eaten enough, it's gonna need more energy, so what it does is it dips into your fat stores and you're gonna burn fat. When you're in a calorie deficit, you're probably gonna lose some muscle mass as well because your body doesn't care where it's getting the energy from, it just wants energy because you haven't given it enough food to for maintenance, so it's gonna go find that energy somewhere. And it so it taps into your fat stores, it takes some of your gains away, like. <sighs> but we can't have it all, so if you do wanna lean down a bit, you probably are gonna lose a little bit of muscle mass. That's not to say you're not gonna have any gains at all. Of course you're still gonna have gains. Look at bodybuilders, look at bikini athletes, they still have lots of muscle mass. And there's plenty of athletes, um, long distance runners, um, crossfitters that have loads of muscle mass and they're relatively lean. But there is a chance that you will lose a little bit of muscle mass when and losing fat so that's why it is important that if you do want to build some muscle mass don't be afraid to go in a calorie surplus build some good muscle mass so then when you cut down the fat through exercise and diet and being in a calorie deficit and um, you're gonna have a lovely toned lean body to show for it so tracking is not for everyone but tracking your macros so your protein your carbs your fats your calories is a really good way to keep track of your diet to know if you're in a calorie surplus or if you're in a calorie deficit and if you're like Jade I don't know my macros I don't know what my calories are ah! Basically, if you were to eat like 1900 calories for like three weeks straight and every time you stepped on the scales like once a week, let's say you were gaining weight, you're probably in a calorie surplus. I think we know our own bodies at the end of the day and there isn't one magic number that's gonna define your calorie maintenance and your, your surplus and when you're in a deficit, I think it comes down to listening to your body. If you're hungry, you're probably in a deficit, I mean at the end of the day. And if you're really, really full and you're gaining weight progressively, you're probably in a calorie surplus. 
And if you're one of them people that every time you step on the scales and you're pretty much the same, you're probably at maintenance. If you are someone who has not tracked before, I definitely recommend just tracking for a week or so and just actually see what you're putting into your body because sometimes you don't even realize and you might actually put it in and realize, oh my God, I'm not eating enough calories and I definitely could eat more. Or you might put it in and be like, oh God, my protein is so under, my carbohydrates are way high. Maybe I need to balance them out a little so you have a more balanced diet. You want to make sure you're getting enough protein, enough carbs and enough fat to be healthy. And then of course, if you want to lose fat, all you need to do is some low intensity cardio, some high intensity cardio, some weightlifting, um, which will increase your output and that will put you in a calorie deficit. So don't think you need to take all your food away and be in a calorie deficit to lose weight. You don't, you just need to increase your output. Do what makes you happy. Exercise regularly guys, eat delicious whole foods, nourish your body and if you do want to look a certain way and lose fat, that's okay. We're all allowed to have aesthetic goals but make sure you are doing it in a healthy, controlled way and make sure you are not restricting yourself and it's make sure it's coming from a positive place. If you guys want to lose fat, that's okay but do it in a positive way to look great, to feel great and yeah. <laughs> So guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I, again, love filming these sit down videos. So if you do have any suggestions, let me know. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would absolutely love if you did. I love when you come back and watch my videos. And of course, comment on them. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.